So in this video I'm aiming for something along these lines except whereas this is two separate bits I'm going to join them together with some webs so that if, if I was to say 3D print it out it wouldn't be all rattly and loose. So I right click and create an octahedron select the entire shape, select the face tool, right click and looking at the left hand side and looking at uh, holding the control key down at the same time inset and take it down 60% Now the scale of these bits is important for having enough space for all the bits we're going to need so select the vertex tool here select one of these corners press I for identical right click and bevel that down all the way till it meets the corner don't hold the uh, control key down in this case because that will allow it to go past the edge of the triangle just there so you're looking without the control key just to take it down to the very edge of these triangles select one of these triangles press I for identical right click intrude and take it down 0.6 so you've got a little hole in the top there you can see press space to deselect everything select the edge tool select one of these outer edges just there press I for identical so it selects all the outer edges then L for loop and loop again just to make sure that the loop continues all the way around right click and circularize so you'll see it moved slightly what this does is when we loop cut which I'm going to do now so right click and loop cut it will mean just hide the unselected part press space select face all these faces here are now squares which means when I put that face back in and press I for identical and W will show you the wireframe all these identical faces are now facing one another well, right but before we do anything about that press W to bring it back right click and rotate hold the shift key down and normal and rotate it 45 degrees the, again the value appears in the top left hand corner once that's done right click and uh, weld but we have to select the um, body selection mode that's what that is they could use that control or that control there and then weld and then again right click and do Sabian subdivision so that gives us this shape now select the vertexes again right click and we want to find the Titan command which is just there and then uh, holding the shift key down uh, you aim to tighten it 200% so that's just sort of shrinked it down a bit and evened things out so what I'm going to do is now shell extrude the surface components for this but um, before I do that I'm going to assign a material to all the faces so select face mode right click uh, right click on material give it a name and then provide it with a color okay okay so you can see that now press space again select edge tool select one of these edges that's in between these two holes so it's not on the this bit where the hole is and press I for identical and G and G again to make sure it's uh, propagated right around the surface of the shape I forget what G is called I always do that let's see select one day I'll remember it's called an edge ring okay so that's just using a shortcut select face mode and go to select and select inverse and right click and do shell extrude hold the uh, control key down select normal and take it out 0.1 so you can see we've created two new objects there go to the body mode on those right click and we'll change the material so I have to be on to face now so it's got all the faces went to body to get all the faces now it's all the faces are selected go to face mode right click on material select another new name give it a different color okay so now press space to deselect everything you can see we've got this situation these two new bits I'm just gonna hide from view at the moment and deal with this uh, what we started with again select one of these um, edges press G G identical G so it's all gone all the way around then press L for loop and loop again so it definitely travels around and through these holes right click and loop cut press space to deselect select body mode select one of these sections here that is on the edge of a hole but not one of these the three identical ones use the I key an I key to get to get identical well, we've not quite got all of them so if ah that's not been loop cut so the loop didn't complete all the way around I need to hit loop a few more times so since that's proven a problem press control and alt and Z and go back to the point before the loop cutting like so I think that yeah you can see in the geometry graph we've not got so many components and press loop a few more times to make sure those loops continue all the way around that happens sometimes so it's worth uh, noting that loop cut again hopefully now all these will be separate components press space 
select one of these on the body like that press I for identical now you can see that it selected them all all the way around the shape hit delete to get rid of those go to face mode and select a couple of faces on these different bits that are left behind so on the outside like that press I for identical make sure that all those inner faces are selected right click and intrude while holding down the control key and go in 0.1 okay and at this point go to body so we've got all of these selected right click and we can just combine them so they're all one object it just makes the geometry graph a bit simpler for us now switch on the other two remaining bits and select them right click and weld so they're now welded together select the entire object because it's all now one object which was was my aim and use smooth so press s that's just a standard smooth press s again so it's a bit smoother and what i'm going to do here is see uh, see this is selected so press space to deselect everything then this material one which is these little webs i'm going to right click on that and use select and then I use a plus key to expand that selection so it just expands into the shape a bit so I've got these set so you can see one color extends through the middle of the hole and I'm going to right click left click on material and assign that all that to material one so when I press space you can see I've got uh, two material possibilities there so hopefully that will work out for final rendering but it's all one object so uh, that was that was one of my aims here to create all one object so it didn't have two separate components so I've linked them together with these webs so there you go another way of creating this sort of shape in Wings 3D and a sort of a different way of using the material options when this exports to uh, Bryce it'll be two separate components because of the materials and hopefully Octane will be able to detect the different materials as well but uh, before doing that I'll use UV Mapper Classic to uh, to give it a basic spherical map for rendering in Octane since Octane doesn't have the material mapping modes that Bryce has that can deal with uh, image maps without on objects that haven't got UV maps so there you go that's the end of the video hope you found that interesting and that you'll go on to experiment making these shapes for your own renders or potentially 3d printing